Dang. So yeah, um, dinosaur mask, um, there's nothing much more to say. Hello guys, and today we're going to be decorating a dinosaur mask, as you could have told or seen from the weird intro, but, um, uh, you may have seen this on TikTok or YouTube, I personally saw this on this one video, um, link in the description, and I wanted to make this into a different animal, so I have air dry clay um, to add on extra parts. I can't use um, Sculpey because I don't have to put that in the oven, and I can't put plastic in the oven. If you guys want to know, the mouth can open and close, so I just wanted to make one of these for fun because it looked really cool and interesting. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoy. I actually had to take off the back, um, the strap at the bottom of the chin because I was going to make a different one, but I was kind of struggling, so... Oh, crap. So, yeah, I eventually got that part off, um, but I'm actually going to make a new one um, with some fabric-y um, thing, like foam, and um, so I don't have to use that clanky one. I got this idea off of the video that I'm linking in the description, so make sure to check that out because it actually explains in really good detail of what I'm doing in this video. <laughs> I finished all those things under the jaw and the strap on the back of the head so it actually fit my head better. It was time for some air dry clay and yeah, this is one of my favorite parts. It took the longest though. So after adding some clay horns, I decided to put on just a little bit of details. After all of that air dry clay was done drying, I put on a base coat of white. base coat of white was down it was time to put on some color for these colors i was actually um going for cool colors i actually took a long time to um uh, make the color scheme for this but i went for a nice light gray and blue along with different types and shades of blue i think it turned out really good and the colors really made it nice and pop um so i really like the color and yeah now it's time for some shiny accents
and after adding some final details, um, we are done. I think it turned out really good. I really like the blending of the scar into the regular um, scales, and I like the shininess and the eyes especially. I tried to add in some lights. You can't really see it good on camera, but it's really nice, especially when you open the mouth. But um, I ho really hope you guys like this. Um, re make sure to check out the video in the description because I wouldn't have come up with this dragon head in the first place if I haven't seen that um, that video. But anyways, um, see you guys next week and comment below if you are trying or gonna do this too. See you next week. Bye.